When I first decided to scan film at home myself, I got very cheap light. I found something on Amazon, large light pad, A3 format, and some no-name company. Uh, I thought it would be convenient to scan film as well as look at the negatives um, on top of it. But I quickly learned about the importance of the quality of light uh, for scanning film. I learned about the index that is measuring the ability of light source to reveal the colors of the objects. It's called CRI, Color Rendering Index. The index goes from 0 to 100, and the higher the number, the, the better is the quality of light, and the closer the colors will be to the true colors of the objects. So, as you can imagine, for color film, it's very important that the color reproduction is um, high quality. People recommend to have the uh, light source with an index of at least 95. The light pad that I bought at Amazon has no CRI associated with it. it means that the producer didn't even measure the quality of that light, so it's probably very, very low. Um, so I started looking what other high quality lights that are available online and what other film photographers are using on YouTube. And uh, I started to freak out <laughs> because the prices of these lights are very, very high. For example, Negative Supply um, company is selling the, the most simple light that they have. I think it's called Light Source Mini for $250. And that's the most basic light that they have. There are more expensive lights with light stands. I found uh, Kaiser lights at Amazon that are also $160 at least. And it's a bit much for my hobby <laughs> to scan film at home, to try it out. I wasn't even sure that it's worth it for me at this point. So one day I was uh, browsing on the CineSteel website uh, looking for some film stocks to purchase and I found that they're actually selling the light source for scanning film specifically designed for that. And the price was amazing, $35. I haven't seen a lot of the reviews of this product by um, popular film photographers on YouTube and I thought that it's worth spreading the knowledge about such a high quality um, affordable light source. At this price point, of course, I immediately purchased the light uh, and it comes in that box. It's called uh, CineSteel CS Light. It's a relatively compact light. It works for 35 millimeter and for 120 film perfectly. Uh, it's powered by USB, so you can use any adapter. You can power it from the laptop port or something. Uh, it has a controller on the cable. So the interesting feature that this light has is uh, three modes uh, and with a different color temperature for different types of film. Cool, white and warm. So the cool mode is the, with a cool temperature light is designed for scanning film negatives. The white mode is for black and white film and warm is for slide film. Slide film, for example, is famous for uh, its uh, blue tint um, that you have to correct in the post-production after scanning the film. So using the warmer color during scanning allows you to get the results that are closer to the desired uh, outcome right after the scanning the film. So you have to do less corrections in the Lightroom. The light source comes with a couple accessories. Um, one is light masks. So it's the inlays that you can put on top of the light. Like that. Uh, and reduce the surface of the light. So that is useful to get rid of unnecessary light spills. And the risk with the light spill is that it can reflect from the surfaces in the room and bring the color cast uh, back onto your uh, negatives. Uh, then that helps to avoid that. The second accessory is the prismatic light enhancing sheet that helps to improve the directionality of light, again, reducing the spill and also enhancing the diffusion uniformity. So it's a, it's a kind of interesting film, as you can see, <laughs> it's a bit weird. So put it on, on the light source, and then on top of it, I usually put the, these frames and use in that configuration. The light source can also be mounted on a tripod or light stand. It has a, a connection here and used as a video and photo light. I've been using this light for over a year now and I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, I'm using Negative Lab Pro 
plugin in Lightroom to convert my negatives to positives. And um, I usually don't have to deal with any weird color costs or anything like that. The conversion process um, is pretty straightforward for me. I'm using this light in combination with a Essentials film holder, which can be put on top of it. You, you can check my video for the comparison of uh, lab scans versus my home scans uh, and to kind of understand the reasoning why I'm bothering scanning film myself at home. Uh, this product I purchased myself with my own money. Uh, Cinestill did not provide me with the product, didn't pay for the review. So this is my true honest opinion about the light. Now I'll show you the samples of the scans that I did with this light. If you want to see more samples and more examples of my film scans, uh, check out my Instagram. If you enjoy the content of that video, uh, please subscribe. That will help me to prioritize this channel. And thank you for watching. See you next time.